Dear audience, welcome to our channel. It is an honor to introduce to you this outstanding Chinese scientist, Dr. Shen Xiangyang, Executive Vice President of Microsoft Global, a leading figure in the field of artificial intelligence. He is excited about technological breakthroughs and has begun to seriously contemplate the impact of artificial intelligence on the future of humanity, as well as the role and social responsibility scientists should undertake in technological development and application. His experiences and insights provide profound enlightenment for us. What does Dr. Shen Xiangyang think about the impact of artificial intelligence technology on the future of humanity? How will it change our lives and work? In Dr. Shen Xiangyang's view, what is the role and social responsibility of scientists in technological development and application? As a scientist and technology leader, how does he believe scientists should balance the relationship between technological development and social responsibility? Dr. Shen Xiangyang emphasizes the ethical issues of artificial intelligence, especially the challenges of bias and privacy. In his opinion, how should we formulate intelligent and reasonable standards to ensure that the development of artificial intelligence does not harm human dignity while maximizing efficiency? Yes, Dr. Shen Xiangyang is the executive vice president of Microsoft Global, the highest ranking Chinese at Microsoft, head of Microsoft AI and Microsoft Research, founder of Microsoft's largest research institution outside the United States. Microsoft Research Asia, leader of Microsoft AI, a cross-industry innovation leader in academia, business, and industry, a world-class expert in computer vision and graphics research with over 50 patents and more than 100 papers published. Similarly, in the global field of artificial intelligence, as a practitioner engaged in artificial intelligence research for nearly 30 years. His enthusiasm for technological breakthroughs has led him to seriously contemplate the impact of artificial intelligence, technology on the future of humanity, and the role and social responsibility scientists should undertake in technological development and application. So, how did Dr. Shen Xiangyang form an inseparable bond with artificial intelligence? And what unique perspectives does he have on the future development of artificial intelligence? In 1980, the third year of China's reform and opening up, Shen Xiangyang took the college entrance examination in his hometown of Jiangsu. I remember the day before filling out the college entrance examination volunteer form. Shen Xiangyang's father walked into the house with a copy of reference news and said excitedly to Shen Xiangyang, You should apply for the computer major. The newspaper says this computer thing is amazing. That year, Shen Xiangyang was only 13 years old. Like most people, Shen Xiangyang had never heard of what a computer was, let alone seen a calculator. Of course, he couldn't imagine that over the next few decades, computers would completely change his life and bring about earth-shaking changes to the world, forging an inseparable bond with artificial intelligence. In 1991, Shen Xiangyang had the opportunity to be admitted to the computer science department of Carnegie Mellon University the top-ranked computer science program in the United States, where he studied artificial intelligence and robotics under the guidance of renowned computer expert Professor Raj Reddy. Carnegie Mellon University had the world's first doctoral program in robotics at the time. Shen Xiangyang had always been interested in robotics for many years, so he went there specifically for the robotics program, which was very fortunate. Raj Reddy was an international expert in speech, but he strongly supported Shen Xiangyang's research in computer vision. Later, Shen Xiangyang's research direction was in robot vision. Before, Shen Xiangyang had experienced a style of scientific research at Carnegie Mellon University that emphasized teamwork. Classmates told Shen Xiangyang that the biggest difference between MIT and Carnegie Mellon University was that at MIT, everyone was a tiger, while at Carnegie Mellon University, everyone was a wolf. People rarely worked alone, they worked together as a team on a big project. The most famous projects at Carnegie Mellon University were large projects. Therefore, the success of Carnegie Mellon University lies in training many figures at the CTO level for large IT companies, and many students have been more successful in the industry. Also in that year, Mr. Bill Gates founded Microsoft Research in Seattle. At that time, his wish was for computers to be able to listen, speak, and think. Therefore, 
Three of the earliest research groups established by Microsoft Research were computer speech, computer vision, and natural language processing. These foundational researches laid a solid foundation for today's artificial intelligence. In 1996, Shen Xiangyang joined Microsoft Research as a researcher, specializing in computer vision research. For Shen Xiangyang, joining Microsoft Research was indeed a stroke of luck, allowing him the opportunity to mingle with the world's top geniuses. Even today, Shen Xiangyang still vividly remembers the week he arrived at Microsoft Research. He discovered that he was only four offices away from Jim Blinn, a legendary figure in computer graphics and he could hardly contain his excitement. He picked up the phone and proudly shared this discovery with his wife incoherently. Artificial intelligence is, in fact, relative to human intelligence. Shen Xiangyang's understanding of it mainly revolves around two aspects, perception and cognition. Why do humans have intelligence? Firstly, people can perceive this world mainly through speech and vision. So the main technologies corresponding to artificial intelligence perception are speech and visual technologies. Secondly, people also have cognition, which means that humans not only can perceive this world, but also can understand it. Understanding this world includes understanding the real physical world and understanding the people around you, and even more importantly, understanding yourself. Therefore, in terms of cognition, Two types of technologies are particularly important, language and natural language, and knowledge. This has been Shen Xiangyang's understanding and definition of artificial intelligence over the years. When Shen Xiangyang joined Microsoft Research, it was during the winter of artificial intelligence. Foundational research in the real world was dull and progress was slow, far from the future technologies people had imagined, and there was a sense of pessimism and disappointment in the industry leading many investors and research institutions to avoid artificial intelligence research altogether. Today, however, artificial intelligence has become the hottest topic both inside and outside the industry. Why has it developed so rapidly? Mainly due to three factors, big data, big computing, and precise algorithms. With the support of abundant big data resources, powerful cloud computing platforms, and advanced machine learning algorithms, Artificial intelligence has ushered in a golden age of vigorous development. The fourth industrial revolution represented by cloud computing, big data, the Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence is coming. This round of digital transformation represented by technological innovation is bringing enormous challenges and opportunities to global enterprises and also bringing significant impacts to enterprise operations, business applications, products, and services. Currently, the main methodology of artificial intelligence is still based on big data and big computing models. Industries with a large accumulation of data and analysis needs are more suitable for transformation through artificial intelligence technology. In 1997, Microsoft established a research institute in Cambridge, and later decided to place the second overseas research institution in Beijing. Shen Xiangnang felt that this was a very rare opportunity to carry out such a research startup in China, which was also an internal innovation of the company. Some leaders in the company, including the leaders in the institute, encouraged Shen Xiangnang to seize this opportunity. In 1998, Shen Xiangnang returned to China and began to participate in the establishment of Microsoft Research Asia. On January 15, 1999, he officially transferred to China and became the first researcher. It has been almost 20 years now. Shen Xiangyang still remembers his first job, which was to choose the color of the carpet. When he was studying, Shen Xiangyang didn't pay much attention to China. However, he felt that China had a very strong foundation in traditional artificial intelligence research. China has been very good in traditional pattern recognition fields, including handwriting recognition and is very advanced internationally. Shen Xiangyang knew many teachers at domestic universities who started doing traditional pattern recognition research early on. After more exchanges with peers after returning to China, Shen Xiangyang began to pay attention to the development of this field. Now in China, the booming development of artificial intelligence technology is very exciting. 
There are many opportunities here, and many remarkable achievements have been made in basic scientific research. For example, in the field of computer vision, many local companies, research institutions, and institutes have done a lot of work to promote the development of this technology. Shen Xiangyang believes that China has more opportunities and will land more application scenarios. China indeed has many advantages. In recent years, China's economy and technology have been developing rapidly. China not only has a huge consumer market but has also become an important force in global innovation. Many domestic IT companies and startups have made various achievements in the field of artificial intelligence to different degrees. Excellent talents in China continue to emerge. From the perspective of market development, the trend of entrepreneurship and investment is tending toward rational development and value investment. However, it is believed that innovation, entrepreneurship, and industrial upgrading driven by technological innovation will continue to maintain a strong development momentum. In the future, technological innovation will no longer be a gimmick, but it will be combined with real application scenarios and industry applications to truly solve problems encountered in enterprise operations or people's lives and improve production efficiency and quality of life. From the trend of technological development, mixed reality, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing will be the three main directions of future technological development. The country has issued the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan and listed the development plans for the first for key artificial intelligence platforms. In the near future, artificial intelligence will still be a hotspot in market development. Finally, let me summarize for the readers, hoping you have gained something, inspiration and reflection. As a veteran blogger immersed in the tide of technological innovation, I deeply feel that Dr. Shen Shangyang's insights are the compass for our collective exploration of the future. Artificial intelligence is not only the advancement of technology but also a challenge to human society and ethical concepts. Dr. Shen Shangyang's thoughts on technological development, scientists' responsibilities, and the ethics and norms of artificial intelligence are worthy of our deep consideration. While pursuing technological innovation, we should not ignore the social impact that technological development may bring. Scientists and technology leaders should bear in mind their social responsibilities and strive to ensure that technological development complies with ethical standards, does not harm human dignity, but maximizes social benefits. At the same time, we also need to establish intelligent and reasonable norms to guide the development direction of artificial intelligence technology. Only through cooperation and contemplation can we better respond to the challenges and opportunities brought by artificial intelligence and contribute to the sustainable development of human society. In this era of change, let us work together to lead artificial intelligence technology towards a more humane and intelligent future. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.